Uh, my name is Ashwani Gupta. I'm the Vice President of the Marketing Division in Premier Steel Limited. Premier uh, is a 34-year-old company. We are present in 29 countries, Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, Oman, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, United Arab of Emirates, then Kuwait, then we are in Australia, New Zealand, United States of America, then European countries like Hungary, Bulgaria, Germany, Poland, France, and the list is on. Main USP of Premiers is we are a tea manufacturing unit. We have our own gardens. We have our own packaging setup in Calcutta, India. We have 80,000 square foot factory. The biggest USP of Premiers Tea Limited is we clean our teas from all kind of impurities. Now this is something that nobody does. And we being manufacturers, we always have the control over the quality of the tea and the pricing of the same. We also have 40 varieties of teas, including pure teas, black teas, green teas, flavored teas, herbs. We clean our teas. Our tea is an agricultural product when it comes from the garden. We are the only one having that machine since 1991. We clean our teas from all kinds of impurities like human hairs, animal hairs, iron stock, dust particles, odd sized particles, ferocious, non ferocious particles. That's, those gates all mixed in the teas. We clean it. The moment we clean our teas, the taste and the quality enhances. Of course, the prices increase a bit, but it's worth it. We are in all the five-star hotel, restaurant, cafes of the world like Hayat, Hilton Hotel, the Intercontinental uh, Kempinski Group. So this is how we are expanding. And we work in distributor model. In each country, we have a distributor. And that distributor and importer takes it and then supplies this to the sub-distributor network. This year, the crowd is growing. The businesses are coming back. Thanks to this business matching lounge and, uh, you know, people are coming. We have cracked a deal with one of uh, the coffee giants out here. They are also having offices in Thailand, in uh, GCC countries. So previously, they were in the plan to have a private label, but looking at premium packaging material, the taste and quality, they have decided to be distributor of ours in Thailand and Singapore as well. So that's a good thing. We are happy about it. And uh, next year also, when we will go, we'll connect with the organizers uh, once again to book up space, much bigger space than what we have taken this time. We are coming back next year as well because uh, each country has its own speciality food shows like Dubai has Gulf Food, Japan has Food X. Likewise, Singapore has this Cafe Asia show packed with uh, international coffee and tea show. We are looking for this show again next year. My name is Melissa. I'm from MP Foods and today we are here at Restaurant Asia uh, exhibiting a new product that we are launching called Wagyu Means and it's by a brand, a sub brand called After Meats. Wagyu Means is actually a plant-based meat, a dried form of plant-based meat. It's a plant-based product which is halal, gluten-free, GMO-free and packed with tons of protein. So yeah, that's why we are here today at Restaurant Asia. It's a good exposure for us for our brand um, to let people know more about our product uh, because it's a fairly new brand that we're doing. Restaurant Asia is a platform for us to get some exposure, get some feedback from customers, to try our product and because our product is new so it is actually quite important for us to join an exhibition like this to let customers try our product. I'm Angela, I'm from the Trade Marketing Department in f and Food Singapore. F&M Food Singapore is a manufacturer and a distributor of a wide variety of beverages and food products. And we are here to launch our new product which is oat milk. It's made of real oak, it has no sugar added, it's Nutri-Grade B. And this product was actually developed by in Singapore, our R&D team with a school of barristers in Singapore. So this is specially crafted for barristers to go well with their coffee. A very good event, it's very very targeted and we get relevant leads and relevant customers coming in uh, so it surprises us. It's better than what we thought, yes. I'm Ruben, I'm the sales director of Quick HR. So generally Quick HR is the um, local HRMS in Singapore. We support enterprises and SME companies. So today we also have our FMV vendors here that are supporting so a bunch of restaurants and food manufacturers with services as well. Broadly, we're a software company. We do end-to-end -end HRMS, which is a full HR management system. And we're also supported by IMDA in terms of the technological rollout. We've been here for three years now, actually. So it's actually quite fun to see that compared to before when it was a bit COVID, now the crowd has returned. Turnout has been relatively good. I feel that it's also great to have uh, other vendors putting a lot of effort into their booth and the design. So the event's a bit more elevated overall. My name is Audrey and our company is Taipo Enterprise. We are the exclusive distributor for this brand, Langjiu. This event is pretty interesting. I mean, after the COVID, that is where we finally get to get out and showcase our, our brand here. 
It has been an interesting uh, three days because when we are here, we get to meet some of our old friends, all from similar trade, and it's nice to be like united in this event. This event actually gave us a lot of opportunity whereby we get to know new customers and at the same time, we basically educate them on the beautiful uh, expression of Baijiu. Because, you know, our locals sometimes can get a little misunderstood about Baijiu, thinking that, oh, they are a very heavy sort of uh, liquor because of the high alcohol content. But after experiencing, sampling some of our um, uh, expression, they actually have a new understanding about the Baijiu. So this event has actually um, helped us in a way to open up our brand to a bigger audience. I'm Frank from TY Innovations. We are a company that tries to you know, uh, empower and change how the FMB services works uh, through new innovations technologies that is available in the market. We are very delighted that we are able to share two main concepts, ideas uh, here, being to bring more automations to the FMB services and also to increase the sustainability in the terms of energy savings with our inverter technology peers. Today we brought this machine from Japan. It's actually a fully automated setup that we hope to be able to increase and solve the labour efficiency issues in Singapore. Basically, what the robot you see here is able to do a full automation, uh, reducing maybe labour from four or three people to one, just having the guy to do the plating and uh, so-called serving of the customers. In this way, we hope to upskill our workers or labour forces to be able to serve customers better with a smile. So in general, FMB services has expressed interest in how this can be a, a streamlined automations that they can implement into new concepts or new brands. And uh, it's really useful on how this can be in place uh, in terms of making their shop uh, work with a lesser or more better labor efficiency and productivity. All right, awesome. We are very happy to be here at uh, Bear Robotics. Uh, we're from a US company that we're setting up an office in APEC in Singapore. And over here, you can see our uh, beautiful robot. This is actually just released one and a, uh, one and a half months ago. This is called Servi Plus. As you can see, it's able to navigate ramps up to five to seven degrees with liquid and it's very stable, very smooth. You have beautiful LED lights, uh, food lightings to show, you know, feature the food. It's able to take up to 40 kg. We have definitely more products. The technology we have is a lot more advanced with the AI and uh, with our product differentiation in terms of design as well. Do drop by, do reach out to us if you are interested for anything of uh, robotics. Restaurant Asia has been really helpful. We got a lot of international leads, mostly in uh, ASEAN region. We are also very appreciative of what they have done for us to promote our product with the ministers and anything for the launch. Uh, different crowds from Singapore, ASEAN region, and uh, a lot of them are actually, you know, we, it's very good brand awareness. If you're trying to build your brand awareness in uh, this space, this is uh, where all the owners, the CEOs, and everything, the executives are all here. We actually seen a lot of purchasing managers as well. Uh, if you're interested to expand your brand awareness, do have have your booth here. I think this is going to be fantastic for you guys to build your brain like how we did. Here we are, Bear Robotics in uh, Restaurant Asia 2023 and uh, pretty much this is uh, how they have helped us already expand our brands. We look forward to see you in the next event as well. We will be there and I uh, hope to see all of you there. Very happy to be here. We are SoftBank Robotics and our company here is Truly Robotics. Uh, this is a SoftBank invested company. Uh, what SoftBank does is we are, of course, an international company based out of Japan and we've brought in a lot of technologies for this event focusing on the restaurant and uh, F&B industry. So behind me, you will be able to see that some of our trade delivery robots, service robots, together with our cleaning robots, particularly focus on uh, meeting the requirements of the F&B and restaurant business. Restaurant Asia 2023 edition has been working very well with us. The response has been fantastic, overwhelming. We have a lot of interest. Uh, we are able to meet up with a lot of our customers, uh, industry supporters uh, who have already been using our products. They've been also bringing in a lot of their friends and network to come and see the technology and sharing with them what actually works for them. So they are very happy in that sense. Yeah. Hi, my name is Prava. I'm the director of uh, Smart Knife. And we are established on 2009. We are here almost for 14 years. We are a specialist in pre-cut vegetables and fruits. We are an ISO certified company. All the fruits and vegetables processed in our company are locally made. It's not been processed in anywhere else. It's a locally processed company. Restaurant Asia has been quite an eventful exhibition for us this year. This is our second year. And uh, this year we managed to meet a lot of new clients. 
and our existing clients came, visited us, and it's a good opportunity for us to showcase our new products with them. My name is Matthias, I come from the company of Shinano. We are the brand producer and also the brand owner for a couple of brands, but for today I will uh, talk more about our brand for Shinobu Whisky. So Shinobu Whisky is something that uh, re resonates very closely with this oak that is specially only found in Japan, uh, which is called the Mizunara Oak. So for our, this brand itself, uh, it's already been quite widely distributed uh, around the Southeast Asia markets, uh, in Cambodia, in Thailand, and in Singapore. And then on top of that, we also distribute our, uh, the product and the brands to Canada, to USA, and so on and so forth from there. Our brand itself uh, continues to expand, and we have a lot of range from the blended whiskies all the way from uh, the aged whisky from 5 years, 10 years, and 15 years whisky. Teresia has been a great platform, not just for me, but also with my distributors company, the liquor shop and the whiskey shop. We are able to uh, have this exposure to just to bring up and this brand marketing and brand awareness to all the trade partners here and also to new clients here. It's quite a good event for us and I think there's a lot more opportunities and business partnership that is coming forth. I'm uh, the founder and the owner of the company. It's called Grapes and Wipes from Dulmovino. It's a winery from Austria. We have a, a special uh, collection of uh, wines, especially for the Asian market. It's about uh, collecting moment and bringing the ocean theme into, into handcrafted products from Europe. I just decided one day to combine my two major passions, which is the ocean and traveling, and the other one is making wine. And uh, that's what came out of it. It's like uh, Grapes and Wipes, this uh, ocean branded um, wine with uh, Austrian grapes. Restaurant Asia has been a really great experience from the beginning. Like people are really nice over here, helpful. It was a good thing to start in the Asian market over here. And um, yeah, we are looking for some wine importers and also distributors. So uh, we hope that we will find someone here at the, at the con convention. Well, I'm Moritz, I'm from Germany, and I'm from the company Cocktail Joe. And we invented a machine which can create 65 cocktails. It takes about 20 seconds for the cocktail production. That's basically it, so every employer can become a professional barkeeper. And it's very good for events because you can move it everywhere you want. And we are first time here in Asia and on this expo. And I have to say it's a very great experience to understand how we can develop and find customers from uh, different nationalities because we only had experience in the local market and now we found and had nice and interesting conversations here in this Cafe Asia Expo. Uh, it's the first time for us as a German company uh, to understand the Asian market and we had very nice and interesting conversations and found lots of uh, customers, potential customers and let's see if you can find this product soon here, even in Singapore. My name is Tammy and I'm actually the Regional Marketing Manager for Bon Cafe International Group. And here we are at Cafe Asia. We are a coffee company as well as a one-stop beverage solutions partner. It was very overwhelming for us. Uh, we see a, a very good turnout of uh, visitorship for this year and we are happy to be back. My name is Charlene, I'm the Senior Manager here for Kielsen Kitchen Equipment. We are actually one of the first companies in Singapore to get listed in the Singapore Stock Exchange. The reason is because we want to increase our visibility, we want to promote the culture of good quality equipment for the kitchen so that you know they can do away with a lot of uh, unnecessary wastage of manpower, resources, energy, you know, that kind of stuff, which I think it works very well with our government's uh, statement these days for sustainability. That's why our feature this year for this show is the future of circularity. About Kyusen, we have been here for about 27 years. It's a homegrown brand and um, we are proud to say that every year, year on year, we have about 10, 15 to 20 percent growth and uh, we are what we are today because of a lot of support from our customers. Uh, we have a very strong team of workers and of course the government. They have plenty, plenty of support for small SMEs like us. This is the first time we participated in Restaurant Asia and um, we are amazed. 
we did not expect the crowd that comes in and the quality of the inquiries that comes in at all. You can see now it's very crowded. Yesterday was even more crowded. In total, uh, we have very strong inquiries of up to 200 inquiries, new customers, not our own existing ones. So we are actually very pleased with it. I think we will be participating the next year because we are reaping good rewards. Huh? <laughs> I'm Grace Tan from Xiaohuat and as the Executive Director, I oversee the sourcing and marketing for the company. And this company, Xiaohuat Private Limited, has been around since 1959. And we have uh, over 100 brands across uh, many international countries that we distribute to the food service industry. This is our first time at Restaurant Asia. We are very happy to explore the crowd here. And we've seen a lot of regular customers, familiar faces. We think that this is a show that we want to consider participating again and have already signed up for uh, next year's uh, booth.